Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad to see you. We're going to do some counting today. And guess what we're going to count? We're going to count some mice. See you in a little bit. Boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Joyner, and I'm so glad to see you today. We're going to be doing some counting. And guess what we're going to count? We're going to be counting some mice. We're going to start today reading one of my favorite stories, Mouse Count. This book is written by Ellen Walsh. She's the author. Now, in this story, there are 10 mice, and they're very clever. Clever means they're very smart. And the mice in this story have to be very smart because there is an animal that's chasing them. And do you know what animal that is? Look. That's right. There's a snake after these mice. So get ready. Here we go. And I'm going to use these mice down here to help me tell my story. I'm going to need this jar. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow, and they were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot all about those snakes, and they all took naps. And while they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. And on his way, he found a nice, great, big jar. And here's my snake. I bet those mice would be really scared if they were awake. The snake thought, and he said, I will fill this jar for dinner. It wasn't long before he found three mice, warm and tasty and fast asleep. First, I will count them, and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. One. There goes the first one. Two. Three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, and fast asleep. And he counted them. Now remember, he had three. Mouse count, four. Five. Six. Seven. But the snake was very, very hungry, and seven mice were not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, and fast asleep. Now he's got seven, but now he found three more. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I'm going to eat you up, little, 
warm, and tasty, said the snake. So there is his jar filled with ten mice. I know our snake is very happy about those ten little warm mice in that jar. I bet he can't wait to eat them. At the beginning of the story, I told you that the mice were clever, and clever meant really smart. Let's see what they do. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look, way over there, I see another great big mouse. Now, the snake was very greedy, and somebody who's greedy wants more and more and more. So the snake hurried off to go get that really big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and the other way. So think about that. They're rocking it back and forth and back and forth. Can you think about what's going to happen? Until it went over and all the little mice came out of the jar. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The little mice uncounted themselves and they ran home. The snake reached that big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back to his jar, that snake looked in his jar. How many mice were left? Zero. All ten mice escaped. Those were some smart, clever mice. We're going to put my mice away. And we're going to do some more work with numbers. Before we start our next activity, I want to introduce you to something. This is called a number line. A number line is a math tool that we can use to help us when we're counting and putting numbers in order. My number line starts with the number 1, and it goes all the way to 10. You can see the line, and under each number, you're going to see a little red dot. I'm going to count the numbers on my number line, and then we're going to do it together. Listen to me first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, way over at the end. Our number line goes to ten, just like ten mice that we had in our story. Now, to use our number line, it helps us when we're counting, but also putting numbers in the right order. For instance, if I'm looking at the number five, I can look at my number line and see that the number four comes before five, my number line also tells me that the number six comes after five. It helps me put things in order. I know that four is less than five and six is more than five. Now, what we're going to do next, I have some pictures. They're kind of like puzzles. The pieces are numbered. And we're going to make a picture. But to make our picture, we have to make sure that our numbers are in the right order. So we're going to use our number line to help us. Each puzzle piece has part of the picture. And at the bottom, there's a number. If I look at this puzzle piece, I can only imagine what this might be. Something green with stripes. I can't tell what the picture's going to be, so I'm going to start making my picture. So if I look at the number 8, and I look at my number, my timeline, I can see that 8 is right over here. I'm just going to set it right here. 
and start my picture. I can't tell what my picture is going to be yet. Let's get another piece of the puzzle. Here's another piece. I see some of the same colors, but at the bottom of the piece, I see there's a number five. I can look at my number line and I can see that five comes before eight. Looks like six and seven come between it. So I know I'm going to put my puzzle piece right here. I still can't tell what my picture is going to be. Let's get another clue. Hmm. This is interesting. I see an eye, a mouth, and this could be a little mouse. This is puzzle piece number two. And if I look at my, on my timeline and I find the number two, I can see that it's there at the beginning, right after the one. So I'm going to place it right there. Here's my next clue. Hmm. There's the number one. That's an easy one. One is the first number on my number line. So I know that I need to put it right before the number two. Hmm. Now I'm starting to see. It looks like my puzzle's going to have maybe a mouse. Here's our next piece. Number four. Let me find four on my number line. One, two, three, four. Looks like four is going to come before five. And here's my five. So I'm going to place the four right down here before number five. I'm starting to see a picture, boys and girls. Are you already guessing what our picture's going to be? I'm up to it, the next piece. I see another eye. This is the number three. There's the three on my number line. Three comes after two and before four. And if I look down here at my pieces, there's the two and the four. Three goes right in the middle. So I can put that one right here. I have my first five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think this might be a snake. Let's finish our puzzle and let's see. Here's our next piece. One, zero. That's the number 10. This puzzle piece has the number 10 at the bottom. When I look at my number line, I can see that 10 is the very last number. So I need to put this puzzle piece at the very end. Next puzzle piece. This is the number 6. When the little circle's at the bottom, that's a 6. Here is number 6 on my number line. 6 is going to come after 5. So I'm going to place number six right after piece number five. Two more pieces and our picture should be complete. Next piece has a number nine. When the circle's at the top, that's the number nine. Number nine comes before number ten. So I can move this piece over. My last puzzle piece, the last piece of the puzzle. Boys and girls, if I look at the bottom, this is number seven. I'm using my number line and I can see that seven needs to come after six and before eight. So if I look at my puzzle pieces, I'm going to have to move eight over and make some room. And there goes my seven. Now, let's check to make sure the pieces in our puzzle are in the right order. We'll use our number line to help us. Let's read the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think it matches our number line. We did it. Can you tell what our picture is? That's right. It's a snake and a little mouse. Great job. We're going to do one more. We're ready to start our next puzzle. And I'm looking at the puzzle pieces. And whatever this picture is, I see a lot of brown. Are you ready to start? Let's start. Puzzle piece number two. Hmm, two is at the beginning of my number line, just right after the one. My next piece is number 10. Using my number line, I can see that 10 comes at the end, right after number 9. Look at all of that brown. My next puzzle piece has the number 5 at the bottom. If I look at my number line, I can see that 5 is right in the middle, right after 4 and before 6. I still can't tell what our picture is going to be. My next puzzle piece is number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see that eight is going to go after seven, and it's going to come before nine. I don't have either of those numbers yet, but I know that it's going to be somewhere up here, close to the end. My next puzzle piece has the number three. One, two, three. It looks like the number three is going to come after the number two. So I'm going to place my puzzle piece right after puzzle piece number two. There are two and three side by side. Here's my next puzzle piece. Number nine. I know that 9 comes before 10, and I know that because I can see it on my number line. 9 comes before 10. Number 1, the first puzzle piece. 1 is at the beginning. The next puzzle piece, puzzle piece number four. One, two, three, four. Looks like number four is going to come after number three. Hmm, I think I see my picture coming together. Do you have any guesses yet? Next puzzle piece, number six. Six is going to come right after the number five. Here goes number six. Okay. Boys and girls, our last puzzle piece, number seven. Number seven is going to go after the six and it's going to come before the eight. So let me squeeze in puzzle piece number seven. Our puzzle is complete. You did it. Can you tell what animal we made? That's right. We made a brown bear. Let's check our pieces to make sure that we have them in the same order as our number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're in the correct order, and here is our picture. Boys and girls, thank you for coming today. It was so good to see you, and thank you for all of your help counting mice today and also helping me put together these puzzles. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.